Hello, I'm Paul, the CEO of Admiral Sports. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own unique team wear using your design, colors, images, and logos in Admiral ID. Firstly, type in the URL admiral-sports.com forward slash ID. You will arrive at the Admiral ID homepage where you can log in to Admiral ID. Choose the product you want to customize and watch videos on how to use Admiral ID. You'll see a number of options to create your own custom men's or women's kit, jersey and custom soccer ball. You can choose your favorite Marvel character and build a superhero jersey. Or you can customize a custom face mask or neck gaiter. Once you've selected what you want to build, in this case we're selecting a men's team kit, then log into your existing account or set up an account. You need to do this to save and share your design and return to it at a later date. You can do this by clicking on the My Account tab, which is just above the Add Graphic button on the right of the page. Fill in your email and password and press Login. At the top of the Options area, you will see option tabs that allow you to choose the style of jersey you can select, a design, add graphics, upload your team roster, share your designs, and finalize your design for ordering. Let's start by choosing the style of your jersey. The shorter long sleeve, crew or v-neck, and satin sleeve or raglan sleeves. We'll select the short sleeve, crew neck, satin sleeve. Click the Design tab at the top of the page. This brings up a range of template designs in Admiral ID. In addition to template designs, you can use your own high resolution image or download freely usable images from a site like unsplash.com to create any unique jersey you want. Just click Add Graphic and select full front, back or side to see your unique custom design. When selecting from template patterns, the default is all, but you can select blank, camo, checkered, chevron, FX, gradation, diagonal stripes, horizontal stripes, and vertical stripes. This will narrow down your options and help you choose. You can select the colors for your kit from the drop down menu at the top of the page. There are 21 basic colors, but you can choose hundreds of Pantone colors by pressing the All button and scrolling down to the color of your choice. Choose the color for the body of the jersey and the color for the cuff and the sleeves and all of the trim of the jersey. You can select different patterns and the 3D avatar will instantly display that pattern, allowing you to narrow down your favorite design and choose your color scheme. You can now add graphics to your jersey. Remember to ensure that you have approval to use the images you upload. You can add text or logos by pressing on the Add Graphic button on the top right. There are seven key areas you can add an embellishment to. On the left or front chest, you would typically apply your team logo. Center chest, you would add a sponsor logo or the name of your team. Back top is usually reserved for a player name, but can be used for a sponsor. Back center is for a player number. Back bottom can be used for a sponsor or watermark logo. The left and right sleeve are usually reserved for league or sponsor logos, sometimes even national or state flags. We're going to start with the left chest logo. Click on your logo to upload it from your desktop. If when you upload your logo, you see a background behind the logo, press the button labeled Remove Background Color. If your logo is in the right format, it will remove the background. You can change the size of the logo to make it larger and smaller. You can move the image up and down or left and right. You can rotate the logo. It's better to upload an SVG or a PNG image with a clear background because you can easily colorize the logo and add a key line around the logo. Now we'll add a center chest logo. Use the slide rule outline to add a key line to your logo. Again, we can make the logo larger and move its location. On the back of the jersey, 
we will add a player name and number. First, we'll enter the requirement for a name and number. We have to go to the Finalize tab to manually enter a name and number, or you can automatically upload a player roster, which I'll describe later. You can change the color and font on the name, change the size, and put an outline around it. You can then do the same for your player number. At the bottom, below the number, you could add a sponsor logo or motto for your team. We're going to add a watermark by uploading a logo and then moving the slide rule marked opacity. To rotate the avatar 360 degrees, use the left mouse button and drag in any direction. You can also zoom in and out to view details. Repeat this process to add logos and numbers to your player shorts. Then choose the style and color of your short in the same way you did for the jersey. Lastly, select the color of your sock. To save snapshots, press the view that you like, then press the snapshot button, or press the button next to it to download PDF snapshots of each standard view, left, right, back, front, and sides of your kit. You will see the PDFs download to your computer. In the lower left corner, you will find several product views. When you select these, you will see different views of your kit, front, back, right, and left. You can maximize the view of your kit on screen by selecting the view mode button. You can go back to edit by selecting the edit button. If your internet connection slows down for any reason, whilst designing your product, try using the performance boost button. This will lower the resolution of the images you see on screen, but it will help with the speed uh, of the work that you're doing. You can remove the avatar from the view by clicking on the props button. You may want to share your design with friends or colleagues. This is a good way to get approval for your design. To do this, click on the tab at the top labeled tag and share your design. Enter the name of your design and then below that, the email of the person you want to share your design with. You can allow them to just view the design or to have editing rights by checking the tick boxes. If they are all checked, then the receiver will be able to edit your design roster and send on those revisions. Add or remove emails as necessary. Sharers will receive an email with a link to your design. If you want to add individual players one by one, you can do that by pressing the blue button at the top right, add member. There you can add one player at a time. To download the roster template, which is the list of players by team, click on the button saying download roster. This will download an Excel sheet to your computer where you can add a team name, player name, player email, player number, and the jersey, short, and sock sizes. Once you've saved that information on your computer, you can upload that roster using the upload roster button. It's very important that we have complete information to avoid errors. Partial lists may result in errors in the ordering and fulfillment process. Admiral cannot start the production process with partial orders. If you're not sure what sizes to order, you can go to our fitting room, which is an excellent tool for estimating the size of Admiral product that you may require. Click on the fitting room link and press accept. Then use the slide rule to select your chest and waist and shoe size. If you don't have a tape measure, you can print one out by clicking here on the print measuring tape link. Once you've set the slide rule to your measurements, the tool will tell you the Admiral size you should select. To save your design, press the save design button at the bottom right of your screen. Remember, you won't be able to save the design if you're not logged in, but you can log in at any time. Once saved, you'll be able to view all your shared 
and save designs by clicking on the My Designs tab on the top right. You can copy the link to your design to send in an email. You will use this to confirm the Admiral ID number when you enter your order, which is the next step. If you want to keep the base design, but design another away, alternate, training or tournament kit with different colors or sponsors, you can clone your design, which means you're creating another version of the same design that you can edit, knowing that your previously saved design will not be deleted or changed. You would do this if you like your design, but want to change the color or logos to have another option. The system will allocate a different ID code to this second design. Before you finalize your order, do check that you're happy with your design, graphics, logos, names and numbers. Once we receive your order, we'll send it straight to production. And what you create and see on screen is exactly what you'll get. Check out other designs for alternate jerseys or just to be sure that you've made the right choices. Then go to the finalize tab. Select the contact order button, complete your details and any specific instructions and submit the form. Our customer service team will then be able to see your name and email and contact details. They'll see your Admiral ID number automatically that's linked to that uh, uh, order form. And they'll see the rosters as well that you've saved. Once we have your order, it will go into production in our factory. We will take payment using your chosen payment method and email you an order confirmation. Admiral ID is the only place where you can create and order your own team wear, outerwear and custom soccer balls on any device from your phone to your desktop. Enjoy designing and wearing your unique team kit.